this is a long overdue video that I've been meaning to do for quite a while. Um, I've been getting into micro quads. Uh, this is a Cheerson CX10, um, and I love it. You know, it flies. It flies brilliantly for what it is. Anyway, um, I started getting into them. Um, and I built this, which is basically a blade uh, inductrix uh, with an FPV video transmitter and camera all in one. Uh, more commonly known as the Tiny Whoop, I think it is. And I love that. Absolutely love it. It flies superbly, but anyway. Then I got this thing, which is the e Sheen E010 or something like that. Um, come on, don't do unboxing on here, you know what I mean? Now this one is supposed to be a direct sort of copy of that, which it's not that far off. Um, this thing is slightly more, no, actually no, the Inductrix is slightly more flexible. Uh, but this has got the connector on the main board uh, for the battery which I don't like, um, so I'm going to change that. Incidentally, if you want to do it a cheap way rather than buying all the connectors, just get one of these multi-charger things and just take one of the connectors off it. It's much cheaper. So, and I enjoyed flying that. I was going to put a camera on it, but the cameras that I um, ordered, or one of the cameras that I ordered, I was let down by the supplier and then the next supplier let me down and the third one I'm still waiting for it to come in but you know I'm going to put a camera on that so then I decided to make my own these are I think they're eight and a half mil motors uh, this frame is from Thingiverse which you can easily download and print um, that is a Sky Sky something or other uh, flight controller Anyway, that didn't fly very well. Um, even tr trying to tune it, it just... <laughs> it was shit. <laughs> anyway. So then I decided that I'm going to go maybe a bit bigger. I want to keep it the same sort of form factor as this. But I wanted a bit more power and a bit more range. Although this is okay. Um... Hang on a sec, I'll show you something. This is my Tyrannus, which is gathering a bit of dust because I haven't been out for quite a while. Um, I've been flying inside. Now in here I've got, if I can take it out, this is actually a Spectrum DSMX or something like that um, transmitter that you just plug literally in the back of your Tyrannus and you combine it to DSMX um, flight controllers, receivers, whatever which this uses which that uses but it won't bind to that this I got from a bloke in France uh, Grobish or something like that I'll put the link in the description of where to buy it from um, it works perfectly apart from you can't use it on a blade inductrix Anyway, that's that. Hang on. So, I decided to do my own. So if we get rid of all this stuff... Move that out of the way, move that out of the way. Put that there. So I've got these motors. Um, can't remember the name of these things. Race Star BR1103s, 8000 kV. These things, um, I think they've just been released actually. I think they were supposed to be a multi star competitive sort of motor. And they're small, they are very small. If I compare them to something like the 2205 that everybody knows about, everyone can. So you can get some sort of comparison between the two. <laughs> That's ridiculous. 
So, <laughs> so I've got these, which I'll, if I drop it, I'll lose it. 8,000 kV they are. So I've got that. Um, I've also got some very big 6 amp ESCs. <laughs> um, so you can see the size against that motor. Uh, I haven't got a 30 amp ESC so I can't really show you the comparison on that anyway. So I've got those. I've also got my Nays Afro Mini I think it is which I'm going to be using. And I've also got a Free Sky receiver which is one of the micro receivers. What's this one now? VD5M or something like that. That one. So what I'm going to do is I've printed this frame out. Um, I've got a better one printing out now actually. Uh, so I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that with those. Put those on there like that. The only, the only downside is I haven't got any props the right size so I've got with the right size shaft hole I suppose. And so I've got these which I've had to bore out a bit. So that's going to go on there. Like that. Oh. Just stepping back a bit, uh, this thing you get, uh, it comes with a battery and you get the controller which is absolutely crap, I hate it, can't use it, but anyway. And in the, in the pack you get a spare set of blades and that's it. Oh there's a charger as well, I don't know if that's the charger, I think it is, yeah. So you get a charger, you get basically everything. And for the price, I paid, this was on a pre-release, I think it was, a pre-order or something, and I paid eight quid for that. So, <laughs> it was ridiculous. But that flies absolutely fantastically. You get about four or five minutes flight time with it as well on that single battery, and it takes around about half an hour, 45 minutes to charge the battery. So if you want something to start with, Oh shit. So if you want something to start with, get that one. I think they've gone up in price now, now actually. It says one press automatic return. Now I've tried it and it just crashed into me and chopped my head off. So yeah, get one. It does acrobatics as well with that thing, you press the button like that or well, you press that and then you turn, oh, I can't remember now but that's crap if you want to start off, get one of them they are brilliant well worth the money I've decided to go with um, this frame here uh, which was already done for brushless motors um, I'll put a link into the description for this uh, the ASCs are wired, as you can see all I've done is I've got a common, there's a positive and there's a negative, and then all I've done is just ring it round, it's quite easy, although it's, for, <laughs> it's ridiculously fiddly, uh, the motors are on, I've got all these wires here that I've got to wire up, now unfortunately the uh, that VD what's it thing six thing whatever it was uh, receiver I can't use because it doesn't do PPM out so I've had to use an X8 X D4R2 so that's all um, on there and I know it's overkill but so there's the naze and there's the D4R2 which is going to go in the middle there like that and then I think what I'll do is I'll just get some double sided tape and I'll just, just stick that on the top basically, stick the uh, the camera on top which I think I'm going to have to use that one and wait for the other one to come in from China Kong so that's done anyway so what I've got to do now is figure out how the bloody hell to wire it So here we have my collection of micro quads because the weather is so shit outside. So we have here the blade inductrix which everybody likes, everybody flies. 
personally I absolutely love the thing uh, especially with the camera on the front which is I think it's an EA Sheen can't, oh, I can't remember anyway these things, the cameras and the transmitter combo thing they're only about 20 quid on eBay now so but that's brilliant and that's the controller that I have to use uh, purely because my Tyrannis won't bind to it so that's that um, we've got this one which is the e Sheen E010 uh, that's the controller it comes with which is totally crap um, but this one I can bind to my Tyrannis because I've got the Gobish um, can't remember what it is I'll put a description of it down there and it'll be in the description anyway that thing I love it I really do love it I've converted this so as it's not, um, I haven't got all the pressure on the main board when you're unplugging the battery and plugging it back in so that it takes the tension off it because otherwise it's going to get knackered but yeah I love that and then we have this one which is uh, one that I made uh, it's got a Sky Sky or something or other controller in it um, it's crap, it really is, it doesn't fly very well at all uh, it's got no power, blah 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 and it's quite heavy really that's with the brushed motors and then we have this one this one is actually the same weight as that without the props or the battery or anything else that's got the battery on it now I've flown this around just inside at the time at the time being um, no FPV on it yet because like I say I'm waiting for my camera to turn up but it's fantastic it's only a 1S battery uh, I can't put a 2S on it because the D4R2 is only um, up to 5 volts I think it is or something like that I've still got to put the air at the antennas on uh, still got to put the FPV kit on but flying it around the house it's absolutely fantastic um, with the nays and everything else acrobatics brilliant and I get about four four and a half minutes flight no four minutes flight time so there you have it it's done it's built near enough put the antennas on put the camera on away we go because I reckon that uh, that thing will actually fit nice on the end there the only thing I want is some quad blade props um, these have got uh, they've got power but it's probably around about 60-65% throttle um, just to make it hover so what I'll do I'll plug it in and I'll show you because I can't bind it to my, to my uh,